Well guys, here we are again. As you can see, not quite so many bubbles kicking about. We're starting to get there. It's about cleared it up. I'm just trying to get a little bit of video in, in because they're working on the house right next to us at the moment. And boy, I don't think I've ever heard such loud men in my life. They shout at each other from blooming start to finish. I've never heard anything like it, but there you go. So I thought I'd get a bit of video in in quick while we're still quiet. They're all looking for something to eat, as usual. Everything's fine in the pond, all's good in there. The uh, Budlia, which is one of the things I really don't like about it, has gone ballistic. <laughs> I call it the Triffid. I mean, it just gets massive. And I cut that thing down to about 18 inches at start of the summer, well, start of spring. And it's just exploded. It just goes massive. But I do love the butterflies we get on it. Loads of red admirals. Well, I think the red admirals or painted ladies or whatever. That's the only reason I'll, I'll leave it growing because it just spreads out absolutely everywhere. It goes, like I say, ballistic. I keep threatening to dig it out, but haven't done yet. So I better get these a little bit of something to eat and we'll see how everything's going. Right guys, well I thought I'd just show you this, show you the protein skimmer and how we're going. Now it seems to have settled down. I cleaned that bucket out at 10 o'clock last night and it's now half past two in the afternoon and we're still getting a bit of skimmit out of it so I've left it and that's how much we've caught since last night and it's still making skimmit but obviously this won't continue as it does lower the protein level in the pond the skimmit will get lighter and less because there's not so much in the pond for it to take out obviously it's been up and running three days now and I have to say I love it really impressed with it my water level, you can probably just see it drop down here now and again. It's roughly level with the bottom of that reducer. So it's frothing and turning out skimmit from there upwards to get it out. So there's quite a bit of froth in there. And as I say, I find that very good skimmit and it's still making it. So I've left it. But yeah, we're still turning it out. Like I've said before, the main time for it turning out good skimmit and a lot of it is sort of early morning that's its best time but while it's still turning it out i'm gonna leave it just thought i'd show you that everything else in here is working spot on it's all good days are very overcast at the moment and cloudy and i've got 21 and a half nearly on in the pond 26 in the filled house 26.7 so it's it's not gorging hot here but everything else is fine everything else is running fine now it's a very dull day here but you will notice there's hardly any froth on the pond at all it's all gone the stones are still throwing it up but it disappears straight away as you can see there it comes up as bubbles and disappears so brilliant job and the water clarity I know it's a dull day but the water clarity I can really tell a difference it really has taken some rubbish out. That is fantastic, even on a dull day when we can hardly see anything down there. <laughs> but a lot of ripples, I'm afraid. But that's what the protein skimmer's doing. Well, guys, I was going to hoover the pond out. I think I'll give it a miss, eh? I'll just give them a little bit of dried shrimp so they'll clear that up quite quickly they love that stuff now I did give the pond a really good vacking out the other day went round all the sides and the bottom give it a really good summer clean and everything's all good in there now I'm not suffering with froth on my pond in the mornings like I used to but it does make them quite lively these shrimps they do get a bit lively with them skimmer down the bottom's going fine quite pleased with that that does a good job my lily's still trying to put flowers up there's one at the back there i see they've sunk 
the small buds coming I don't know whether you can see them but whether they'll get to flower or not I'm not sure <laughs> they do love flying through these lilies for some reason so quite pleased with the way things are going at the moment it looks like rain so I'll probably leave the fence on for a bit see how things go I don't take it off if I'm not out here and it really does look like rain right guys what I'm gonna do now is I've shut the air off to the protein skimmer I've shut my pump right down to 30 watts as low as it will go just so I've got a slow trickle through the actual system and round here I've got my vac plugged into the Backy River so what I'm going to do now is switch the vac on and just turn this media over a little bit by hand to get some dirt out basically we'll give it a go and see what comes up so I'll switch the vac on bit noisy I'm afraid but we'll see how it goes As you can see, there's hardly any dirt coming up at all. Give it, give it all a good turnover. There's nothing there. As you can see, there's no dirt exiting at all. Well, as you can see, I got very little out of it at all. There was hardly any dirt come out of that whatsoever. So, not bad. So, it's not carrying any real dirt. It's not keeping it in it. So, quite pleased about that. Just make sure everything is level. And we'll put everything back as it was. Now, we usually get plenty of dirt out of here. There's usually quite a lot in there. As it's following the actual upflow filter and protein skimmer now, I'm getting none out of it at all. Nothing worth worrying about. Now whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure. Because a little bit of dirt in these things doesn't hurt. It can contain bacteria. So I shall have to think on that one. But there was absolutely nothing in there at all. So like I say, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay guys, what I do want to show you now is this has just arrived and I just want to show you what it is. Just let me get a knife and we'll open it up. I've just received this, it's just come by courier. We open it up. Right, in here this is the uh, new media the Chinese are shouting about. So I ordered a box to have a look at. Wow, you do get some in a box. <laughs> There's a lot of media in there. But this is the new media for uh, backy showers and rivers that's been specially designed for the job. And they reckon this is like the bee's knees. So I thought I'd order a box and have a look at it and give it a try probably. The wind's blowing a bit hard at the moment so I'm having trouble videoing but that's it, that's what's come and it was just over a hundred quid and it's quite a big box full actually but I'm going to give that a whirl at some point and see how that goes. 
yet again this is why we're getting nothing done I can't remember how many of these we've had absolutely nothing getting done at all as you can see all looks good in the pond all the fish are looking good looks like we want another vacuum out by the looks of it we've got the noisy builders behind us so they'll probably chirp up before long <laughs> there is a little bit of algae down there don't know whether you guys can see it but there is a little bit of algae down there I might get the vac out give it a vacuum in out I really love that protein skimmer that has really put a sparkle to the water once I get the vac in there it won't look so clear but I've just turned the air off for you so you can get a better view a better picture of what's what with no ripples on the pond that's the water clarity now, absolutely 100%. I think I'll get the back out and give it a back in. Not sure whether you can see them, but the butterflies are all on the bush. There's oh, eight or ten of them all around it. I don't know whether you can see them actually. But I did trim it all back. I've cut it all back so it's not in my pond anymore. So I got that done. So like I say, we'll get on with a bit of vacuuming. Right, well, I'm all set up. I'm about to give the pond a good vacuum out. We'll give it a good clear out. There's getting to build up a bit of um, algae on the bottom, not the long stuff, only the short stuff. But I'm gonna get that out and give it a good clean up. So let's get stuck in. Well there we go, that's made a right mess of that water, <laughs> but there you go, got to be done, but it'll look nice when it clears, that's the backing all done, didn't take long at all. Just to show you guys quick, I've had about five lots like that out, so I've got loads of algae out, but like I say it's all the short stuff, it's not the string or hair algae, it's all the short growing algae, but we've got it out, thank goodness. Okay guys, in the filter house, everything's working as it should. The bucket I clean out at 10 o'clock last night, it doesn't seem to work. I sort of go to bed at 12 o'clock and it isn't kicking in before that. It's now about 9 o'clock in the morning and that's what we've taken out through the night. It's unbelievable where this dirt comes from. And this is after the upflow filter, don't forget. So it is really taking some dirt out as you can see. And I mean, when you think about these filter systems, 
we thought we'd done really well by fitting the upflow filter which we have that takes out a lot of the fines in the water but when you think after the upflow filter all this is still going back to the pond all that dirt in there would normally be going back to the pond it makes you realize just how much there is to filtering water in your pond to get it right and you think mine's gone through a C filter on the way in it's gone through an RDF with a 60 micron mesh it goes through the moving bed that doesn't filter anything out that's just the bio of the water then it goes through the upflow filter and there's still that dirt left in the water so the old protein skimmer if you get one up and running I have to say are really worth it it's taking all that rubbish out on a daily basis which can't be bad I have actually now put it on a timer because it makes nothing in the afternoon I found an old timer in the drawer actually because it makes nothing in the afternoon and sort of early evening I've put it on a timer now so the air pump actually switches off it'll turn off at about 12 o'clock lunchtime and it cuts back in at 12 o'clock at night I think I think I've got it set for 12 so it shuts down for 12 hours because it makes no skim it during that time and then run it through the night and is doing a great job I have actually also bought a little fan I think it was about 15 quid bought that on eBay it's got two speeds and it runs at 7 watt on speed 1 and keeps them pumps lovely and cool and for 7 watt it's sort of neither here nor there on power usage the 100 watt was the worst the 100 watt is the one that actually runs the moving bed and the pond I've got two 18 chair stones in the, in the moving bed and as you know I've got 5 by 5 inch round air stones in the pond and it runs them quite happily I've got it so it uses all the air it puts out so it's not restricted but it still wants to run sort of quite warm really but with that on it it's lovely and cool don't get hot at all but as far as everything else is concerned everything is going really well the question is where do I go from here I don't really want anything else <laughs> I think I've got a great setup now to be honest so I'm not sure what I'm going to do now no doubt I should come up with something I've got to have something to potter about with or a go mental what I did do the other day being as we're having some new kitchen flooring is cut a bit of the old stuff off and lay it down the middle of the actual field house which has made it look quite decent really I can't go back because it starts flickering but yeah it's made it look quite decent the flickering is the shutter speed on the camera arguing with the lights but yeah that's really tidied it up in there now looks quite good a lot better than the boards I've just done a quick water test as you can see my nitrite is virtually nil the very smallest tinge of pink in that nothing to worry about at all my ammonia is spot on no ammonia whatsoever but I am showing nitrate now for some reason I usually show some but that is a little bit redder I think we're about 50 about 50 milligrams a litre which is a lot more than I usually do so what's happening there I really don't know my nitrate seem to have shot up a little bit for some reason so I shall have to keep my eye on that probably do a little bit of a water change to bring that back down if I can but why that's showing I really don't know but not too bad at all just got to sort the nitrates out ammonia and nitrite are really good I've just done my pH and if we take a look I'm running 7.5 between 7.5 and 8 probably but that's spot on that's just where we want it no problem there well guys I'm standing in the filled house because it is so blooming windy outside it's terrible and it also looks like it's going to rain any minute again <laughs> we certainly had plenty of rain anyway I've just popped in here so I can wind up and bring this video to an end basically so I hope you've all enjoyed it I hope I've just kept you up to date on what's going on 
and what I'm doing I've still got the noisy builders next door by the way but that's about it for this one so you all take care stay safe have your jab thanks for watching and as always happy ponding